Shocker from the city of Bengaluru this time, an auto driver allegedly threatened to rape a woman passenger. The driver, who was allegedly drunk, told the woman that he's a serial rapist and she is his next victim. Auto driver then allegedly snatched her wallet and pushed her to the ground. However, before this, the horrified woman somehow managed to click the accused auto driver's pictures. Now, the 25-year-old victim boarded an auto in front of UB City on Monday evening. Shrija gets us more details. I'm right now standing at the Raja Rao Mohan Roy of the Richmond Road Circle. It is at this very spot where a 25-year-old woman was threatened that she would be raped by an auto driver. We are given to understand by the central DCP Chandra Gupta that this woman took an auto, aborted an auto on Monday at around 7.15 p.m. before UB City and she had to leave for her house uh, in Kormangla. In fact, when she reached right here uh, at off the Richmond Road, the auto driver in fact took a detour at this very uh, junction and he just stopped the auto a little further. As you can see, there are street lights here but however, because of the trees, it is uh, dimly lit. Also, there is a CCTV camera, a 360 degree CCTV camera. But clearly, we understand that uh, the girl, the victim, in fact, understood the driver was in an inebriated state and demanded for more money from her and also threatened her that saying, I quote, I am a serial rapist and you are my next victim. The horrified lady, what she did was immediately the auto stopped and then the driver snatched her purse away and pushed her to the ground. Before that, the victim managed to click pictures of the accused. Right now, we understand that the case has been registered at Cabin Park Police Station under IPC Section 354 for outraging a modesty of a woman. Right now, the police are investigating the CCTV guards and the investigation is on. In Bengaluru, Shrija for Mira now. It's about what time you're traveling and how many people you're in contact with. I think it's always best to give your numbers to your known people and travel, be it in auto or normal taxi. Make sure that he takes you in, uh, not in those lanes, but in the main area and just, uh, you know, tell him that I want to go this way and not that way. You should immediately call police because we have smartphones right now and we can contact anybody at any time. We should definitely share uh, the driver's contact with our near and dear ones. In fact, when contacted, Chandra Gupta, the DCP of Central uh, Bengaluru, said, and I quote, registered for robbery and molestation, investigation is going on, FIR has been registered. Victim has handed over a blurred photo of the accused clicked on her phone. Now, the auto driver is on the run. We will soon nab the accused. Case has been registered under IPC Section 354. Victim works in UB City. She was on her way home when the incident took place. We will crack down on all the auto drivers who do not display driver credentials. Now, like the DCP mentioned, auto drivers in Bengaluru have to display their name and details in the order for their identification, a move that was made to make auto safer for commuters. Incidentally, when my colleague Shrija was outside UB City, she found out that autos still don't have their IDs displayed in their autos. Take a look. I'm right now standing here in front of this one auto. As you can see, this particular auto does not have driver credentials at all. When we spoke to this particular driver, we clearly understand that he did not, in fact, uh, uh, put up the driver credentials, which clearly states the name of the driver, including the license uh, plate of that particular vehicle. Now, this becomes pretty unsafe for any of them for this, as far as uh, the uh, safety of a woman is concerned. This particular auto is most of the time stationed right in front of the UB city and you you in fact find a lot of women taking the these kind of autos now this pretty a driver not having a driver credentials put up in his auto becomes pretty unsafe for the women here in Bengaluru in Bengaluru Shrija for Mira now in fact on the show we're joined in by Ramalinga Reddy transport minister of Karnataka to give us the government's version Mr Reddy my first question to you is what are the security measures that are made so that women in Bengaluru feel safe
first of all uh, the auto should be clean and uh, driver should uh, wear a uniform and then he must have permit in the auto and uh, driving license also he must keep always and uh, meat should be in working condition and he should not uh, smoke bd cigarette when passengers are there and another thing is uh, uh, meter per meter what is the per kilometer what is the minimum fare that should be uh, disclosed and uh, finally uh, display card should be there police will give a card display card in that uh, his photo and other uh, uh, details should be there identification has to be displayed but there is a regulation in karnataka that every driver should display their license what will you do if most auto drivers don't have that traffic police will find okay they will find but is there what are all the uh, regulations are there if they don't follow police will find Also Mr Reddy is there anything you're doing in what uh, uh, on how auto drivers actually speak to commuters They should not speak uh, they should uh, uh, talk in a uh, slow slowly mm -hmm. and uh, they must respect uh, uh, the passengers first uh, give respect take respect policy there no mm -hmm. like that uh, they they should not talk rudely Are you also planning to sensitize these auto drivers Mr Reddy? Renewal FC time mm -hmm. our RTOs and inspectors uh, they will inspect uh, these drivers mm -hmm. all these things. Actually mm -hmm. names uh, identification etc have to be displayed that's something that we'll keep a close watch on. Thank you Mr Reddy for joining us here on Mirror Now now.